Sorry, questions for Kelsey first. Uh, anybody in the room, anything? Kelsey, could you talk about the huge three-pointer you hit with two minutes to go that put you up by four and clutch, and you had two free throws that put you up? What, what's your mentality in those situations? Oh, man, I just try to – I've always been a hooper, man. I just like to play the game, and I think, uh, for me, I'm always on the next shot or whatever that is, um, next play mentality, and I think my number was called to that transition play. And I think, for me, it's about finding rhythm – and staying confident in that rhythm and utilizing our pace to kind of like find my spots to get what I want. I, I mean, I had a follow up on um, Caitlin down here, which is fine, but yeah. two of you combined for nearly 60 plus points and you both shot 54%, each yeah. in five threes. I mean, what is, what is going on in the backcourt for you two? Uh, I think that me and Caitlin, as well as our group, I think we just found a way to, um, for one, understand and know I think our pace is just kind of setting us apart uh, from a lot of different teams because I do like to get, you know, the ball but down the court is such a hot pace. And I think the way that we play is kind of like, it just it makes our I game mean, thrive even more, I think, in a way. Hey, uh, Kate, I mean, if you just, you just walked in, I guess asked Kelsey, the two years of the 60 plus points, you both hit five threes, 54% shooting. I mean, could you, what's working in the background between the two? I think just playing fast, playing off one another. Um, I think that's probably the biggest thing. And, you know, when you have two guards that are both making plays, like it puts other team in tough position of, you know, what to take away, who to put on who. Um, so I feel like we're definitely shooting it well. We're playing off each other well. We're looking for each other. Um, and we're getting downhill too. So um, I think it's been a good balance of everything. My last question for you. I mean, this is your seventh game, 2010, double-double. I mean, how much do you feel like you've developed as a point guard? I mean, this preseason game was here until now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I just – understand the game better, um, more comfortable with my teammates, more comfortable on the floor. Um, I think just playing a little more free, I think being more aggressive. Um, yeah, I think all that kind of thing. Caitlin, Caitlin, after giving the last to those windy city skyscrapers Friday night, what was the biggest wing thing you expected to find today in the shindig against these dynamos from Big D? Next question. Okay, how does it feel coming in tonight? Broke another record, always breaking records. Came in with 594 points. You have mm -hmm. 590 field points made. You pass to me for catches in front of Cynthia. I mean, I think it's it's obviously cool, but at the same time, like I feel like we play basketball the right way. That's just what kind of comes along with it. Um, and it's fun. Like we've been winning. Like that's what makes all of this so much better. Like I feel like we're just playing such better basketball than we were, you know, even a month ago for the break. Like. It just feels like our chemistry is better. It just feels like everything flows a little bit better. It just like feels better. I think as a basketball player, like it's something you can feel when you're out there. Um, you know, the flow just seems, seems really good. You know, we're not we're just playing off one another. So, um, you know, it's cool. Obviously, there's been a lot of really good players to put on this jersey, and you know, to be up there with some of them, it's it's special. So, next up, how the confidence there for you guys to try to move in close to the other team? And lead into the playoffs. Yeah, I think just one game at a time. And now I think we have six straight at home. So, um, you know, winning the, the games at home are super important. You can't come, let people come in and beat you on your home court. And, you know, we still have a lot of challenges left. But, um, you know, we're still fighting to get in the playoffs. It's been our goal since day one. So um, I think just, you know, take it one game at a time. You can't look too far ahead. You can't, you know, let any day go by because every single one matters for positioning. And, um also, like, you know, these opportunities, like, they they end very fast. It feels like we we're just at the beginning of the season, and now we're here at the end, so not taking it for support. We're for the 9 15 Yeah, great game in 28-12. Uh, uh, what was your approach coming into this game, and how were you able to counter the, the games with their high-powered offense? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. Like, <laughs> you know, you got, definitely got to be able to score with him, and I think, you know, Honestly, like we tried our best on defense, but I'm I'm really proud of the last five minutes of the game. I thought that's when we played our best defense, and that's when it really mattered for us. Um, you know, Enrique, I mean, she's one of the best players in this league. She's gonna do what she does. Um, she's gonna make shots. She just makes tough shots. Like you gotta live with it sometimes, and you know, just get back on and go go down and play offense after she made a, a basket. So I thought it honestly was just the last five minutes of the game. We came up with some huge stops. We made free throws. Um, you know, Kels made some big buckets for us. So. Um, I'm just proud of our last, you know, stretch there where we really dug in and got some critical stops and were kind of able to push us over the edge. You got two more. What was, um, you know, this is back-to-back -back wins against two uh, very, very tough teams. Um, this must be a huge confidence booster. How do you plan to carry this momentum forward uh, going into the final stretch of the season? Uh, I think the second half of the Olympic break was the stretch of the season, and I think 
it's a focus, it's a mentality, it's a mindset. And I think our group has prepared, you know, ourselves over the course of that break to be in these moments. And I think that going forward, um, we're gonna continue to keep the main thing that the mates. And so we get we tend to like work out and train together on the off off season side. And um I wouldn't expect it any any other way coming from a person like that. And I think for me personally, um, I'm focused on my team and what we got going on right now, the record for me. All right. Me, so All right. thank you everybody bring coach in next. Looking beyond this season, what are your thoughts on the team's potential areas of focus? Uh, just continue growing, um, you know, throughout this transition period, just trying to get to the playoffs. Yeah, I think our our focus is just finding ways to get a little bit better every day, taking what we need from this game, because um, we're going to face them again in a in a week and a half, and you know, these guys are just growing together. Uh, uh, building confidence, building confidence in each other, um, build confidence on the defensive end. Um, I think just some things that are happening that are, when we weren't successful at certain things we were trying early and now we're finding some success in those things. It just, it's just an overall, it gives them confidence in when we're making adjustments on the fly to try to, you know, Harike and Satu just they shot the hell out of the ball today. I mean, they had some big shots, um, but we just stayed with it. I mean, they, you know, there's some shots that those guys make that you just got to be like, hey, good shot, get on, you know, now it's our turn. We kept matching them with baskets, which was good. Um, you know, I thought AB came in, she, you know, had a hard time getting started early. She came in at, at the half, we went to her, but her defense was really good. Her defense was excellent. And then just the other posts that came in were very, like, Melissa Smith was awesome in the first half. I mean, she did some good stuff. She kind of set the tone for us. And then we just kind of flowed. Caitlin and Kelsey. I think it was 63 points today. And they've been doing that a lot over after the Olympic break. Just what has been working for them and how has that been the confidence? Yeah, I think both of them get a lot of open looks, our freedom because of each other, because of the attention that they draw. And so that's allowing them to be open when at times, you know, last year, Kelsey really had to fight for a lot of shots that she was getting. But right now, if she's open and going into finding a window when the defense is collapsing or spot doubling Halen or when the ball goes in the post and there's collapse and she's able to find a window and get her open looks and those closeouts are hard because you're coming hard to contest her. And then she's able to get down and heal on you. So between the two, I mean, she's got a lot of confidence right now shooting the ball extremely well. Could you just speak to your team's offensive capabilities or production rather if you shot nearly 53% from the floor and 50% from three? Yeah, you know, we're we're um right now during this time of the season you can't really keep do a lot of up and down um in practice and so we just feel like we get a lot of shooting during that break during the olympic break more than we had and a lot more game like shots we use our practice guys to come out and put a lot you know it's not just shooting drills we're just getting shots and we're contesting every shot it's like all that plays into it you know not just letting them shoot them a game of horse they're shooting uh contested shots people running out on them so they're focused on that I get one on Zoom. Mike Volpel, go ahead. Yeah, Coach Sides, I know you, you come in every week wanting to win every game, but when, when you're starting this week, you've got four games, three of them on the road. Um, to, to win all four of those and the way that you won them, you, you talked about this team's growth, but is this one of the most, I guess, impressed you've been in terms of a, a week's-long performance by your team? 100%, Mike, 100%. They, you know, they just, they've come out. They're they're so, they're tired right now. I mean, this has been a five, day, five games in nine days, I think, Ryan. Um, and they've, they've laid it out there. Like, we just keep talking about emptying our tank. Um, empty the tank whenever you're out in those 40 minutes. Um, just the confidence that they're playing with. I mean, I'm proud of the the, the road games are, have been hard. Like the road games have been tough. I mean, we fought we fought Minnesota and, and lost that one by ten. That one could have gone anyway, either way. Um, but just to to go to Atlanta, to go to Chicago, and to keep doing what we're doing, we just keep talking about momentum, keeping our foot on the gas, keep doing what's working, and just keep making it about us. And I feel like they're just doing a great job of that. Um, and again, their chemistry with with each other and their the way they're, you know, they're talking a lot on the bench, which is good. They're, the bench players are talking a lot to the players on the floor. It's just for a coach watching that, it's awesome. Hey, Thank you. Uh, speaking of Chicago, at the end of the game, Caitlin took a pretty hard foul. 
got a lot of attention from our fans and media would like and, and you mentioned the streak of games going on right now. These games getting tougher, battle getting harder. How, how do you how does she respond to it? What do you talk to her about? It? And then what do you think about the response the fans did talking to Shields after that foul? Yeah, I think, you know, there's there's been some hard fouls. Of course, there has, and the officials have to step up and make those calls. If that's a flagrant, you know, that needs to be just make the call. And then we can shoot the free throws, throw the ball in on the side, maybe make a three, and we've got a four-point swing, right? Um, make the call. Um, as it relates to the fans, I, you know, can't control what fans are saying um, on these message boards and social media. I don't think there's any room for any vile language or hatred or awful talk to anybody. I mean, this is basketball. We're all just trying to play a game 40 minutes and uh, do the best we can. Uh, that that's, that's unacceptable for it to, to get real personal. It's just unacceptable. Yeah. One on zoom, Matt, go ahead. Yeah. Hi, Christy. Um, for you guys to go from one and eight to now 17 and 16, a lot of that took time. A lot of that was team chemistry. Um, but have you noticed anything different in how the team has been handling the travel? I mean, you guys just played three games or two games in three days and scored a hundred in both. Yeah, man. I think all that travel we did early, I think that prepared us. For, <laughs> we kind of knew what was coming. I think, you know, now I think everybody else is going through that. A lot of other teams are going through that travel right now. And, uh, we get to, to get on that charter plane and get home and, uh, and they've earned every every minute of the day off tomorrow that they're going to, they're going to get, and then just get right, get back and get ready to play a, an LA team that's playing well too. Anybody else saying anything? 